Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? How you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Guys, today we have a movie review. Movie review. As usual, if you watch my movie reviews, which I'm sure you don't because they don't get many views, and that's okay, you know that I use handy dandy trusty notes. Sometimes in my handy dandy trusty notebook. Today, they're handy dandy trusty sheets of paper. Today, the movie is going to be Summer Camp Nightmare from 1987. And I do use my notes. I kind of read off of them. I can't remember all this stuff. That's how we work it on this channel. Let's go over the stars. These are just your main stars. We have Chalk. Chalk. We have Chuck Connors as Mr. Warren. We have Charles Stratton as Franklin. We have Harold P. Pruitt as Chris Wayne. We have Tom Fridley as John Mason. We have Melissa Brennan as Heather. We have Stuart Rogers as Stanley Runk. Runk the Punk. We have Adam Carl as Donald Poultry. Donald Poultry, like Donald Duck Poultry? I don't know, that's what I got out of it. So basically, we have your prison warren, your psycho, your hero, your rapist, your hot chick, your punk, and your nerd. We got all the bases covered, guys. Let's go over the story real quick. Summer camp takes a wrong turn when the campers decide to overtake the camp. Things get out of control when people start to die. Not giving anything away here, but yeah, anyway. Eventually, snapping some of the kids out of the revolution and into saving the day. Just a quick brief outline of the story. Here's a couple of my thoughts on a couple of the characters. I'm not going to go over all the characters. I think i got about three that I'm going to just kind of cover real quick. First, I was surprised to see Chuck Connors in such a movie. This would be about his last performance as he died in 1992 at the age of 71. His presence in this movie is very strict and stern. He still had that don't mess with me look about him even at his age. A man of few words, but you know what he's saying just from his looks. He was basically the, the, the warden, the warden kind of guy, the, the main guy who was in charge of everyone and everything and how the camp ran, and, and he ran it pretty stern. So, uh, again, it was kind of weird to see him in this kind of a movie, but interesting. We have Charles Stratton as Franklin. Uh, he was actually decent. Uh, from the beginning, he had a certain creepy, evil, uneasy feel to him. Uh, he is uh, he's the main antagonist? Whatever you want to call it. He's the main guy who kind of uh, stands up and... Uh, wants to do the revolution, the change, uh, take over the camp. He's kind of your main guy, and it kind of goes from uh, something uh, innocent to uh, something a little bit more serious. Tom Friendly plays the typical womanizing cool jerk. He does this well as he plays the same character, basically, in Friday the 13th Part 6. His character in that was Court. Um, these are basically the only characters that I'm going to touch on. There's a few other characters that I mentioned, of course, in the beginning. I could have went over them, but I kind of felt like these guys uh, were the main ones to kind of talk about. I don't know why. I just did. 
Now let's talk about like the setting and location, uh, basically the set. Um, the setting and location fit the script. Uh, the camp looks like a, a legit camp and fitting of the name. Uh, we don't see many locations actually as most of the film is basically around the cabins. Uh, there's very little else that they're gonna, that you're going to see. At one point you might see a bridge, you know, like a little rope bridge or you might see a, a lake where they're swimming or, or something like that. But basically most things are, are kind of centered around the cabins. And you really, you get the same the same feeling for this as you would any other uh, summer camp type movie. It kind of fits the part and the location and all that and and, and the, uh, the set pieces. Everything looks decent. Uh, it, it looks like a real camp as far as I'm concerned. Now I'm going to do kind of a quick opinion of the movie. If you read reviews on this movie, they are mostly saying what I'm about to say. This is not a scary movie, or a slasher, like the title may suggest. This is more of a thriller, kind of a survival Lord of the Flies type movie. Uh, the acting and the depth of the script isn't deep or groundbreaking, but it gets the job done. Decent characters with their own personalities, some headbanging 80's music fashion and feeling as well, which is always good. The story and actions of the characters give us a decent time. It's about 1 hour and 30 minutes, and it actually goes by quite fast. Uh, if you're looking for that 80s movie you might have missed out on, which I think I may have, uh, I say give this movie a shot. It's actually not bad. And uh, that's really all I got to say about the movie. It, it pretty much flows along well, uh, I didn't find myself bored at any one time. I was kind of interested, actually, in what was going on and what was about to happen and uh, what could happen. It, it really was not bad. I'm very surprised that uh, that I haven't really heard of this. I don't think I have anyways. Uh, it's It's got several characters in it, and like I said, each one of them fits the bill uh, to the T. <laughs> like I mentioned before, the warden, the psycho, the hero, the rapist, unfortunately, the hot chick, the punk, the nerd. You know, there's there's all these all these different uh, elements in there to the characters, and they all fit. And really, overall, I was happy with the movie. I'm glad I gave it a shot. Um, and as far as the rating goes, I'm going to give this a solid 3.5 out of 5. And I'm sticking to it. I feel pretty good about that. That's not a bad rating at all. And I do suggest uh, giving it a try if you're looking for that weird 80s movie that you might have missed out on. And it's not a horror film at all. There's, there's, It's more thriller and kind of, you know, like I said, Lord of the Flies kind of group of kids kind of take over things. And things kind of go, uh, start going kind of south. And, you know, anyway. So guys, that's my review of Summer Camp Nightmare. Hope you enjoyed my channel. Go check out all my videos in the playlist. I have all kind of different playlists in there. Or you can go to the videos main section and go through all the main videos off in there. Um, I do it all for free, all for fun. Why? Because I love myself. I love doing this. It challenges me. It gives me something to do. I really love doing it. And I hope that you appreciate it. Guys, don't forget... Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when watching and reviewing a sweet, sweet 1980s movie that you may have never even heard of. We'll see y'all later. Now go watch that movie. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!